A-list are joined by one of the hottest singers in the UK. It's Connor Maynard. Hottest? Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. In I all senses it. of the word. Yeah, you can, you can get the 20 quid in an interview now. It's all good. It's fine. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Wonderful. So you haven't been, didn't really do the festival thing last year, but no, you've just performed. I was performed. off the scene. I was off the scene. I was off, recording. Yeah, taking a break away. Yeah, exactly. But you've just performed here at Wireless today. I did. How was it to finally be back on the stage? It was cray cray. Like... Every year I get better at dodgeball, like all the cans, like it's so, no I'm joking, there weren't any cans. Actually I was really surprised because normally when you walk out, right, there's like at least one right at the beginning and you've got to like do a little dodge and a side, little sidestep and it's all good, but there wasn't one. Who would throw of, cans at you? Just a lot of flying bouncy balls. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. standard festival yes. thing these days. <laughs> all of my shows, always bouncy balls. There we go. So, yeah. so your recent single I absolutely love talking yes, about, it's much. a great summer tune. Yes. Um, Craig David actually wrote it, did, which yeah. a lot of people might not know. No. He has been in hiding doing his, his own thing in LA. How did you manage in to... Miami. In, oh, in Miami. Oh, Miami actually. Yeah, yeah, oh. Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you there. actually manage to drag him out of hiding? Um, well, I did a cover of Fill Me In when I was on um, tour of Jason Derulo. I was, do, I was doing a support tour of Jason Derulo, and Fill Me In is like one of my favourite songs of all time. And then I then covered, I covered it in this tour. Someone filmed it, put it up online, which he then Craig David then saw, and yeah, basically um, tweeted me saying senior cover, absolutely loved it, and then said let's do a song together. Yeah. Well, you we heard about recently when Drake was at Wimbledon. Have you heard about that? That was that's hilarious. I mean, mistaken they saw him. Drake and they thought he was. Craig David. <laughs> it was Craig David. Have you asked him about that? Craig yeah. David. I get it all the time with Susan Boyle. So. Okay. Unlike. Un I'm it's Susan Boyle, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, Love the it. comparison is uncanny. I did want to. I, I, my favourite thing was I really wanted to um, collaborate with her once. When I first started, she was the person I wanted to collaborate with. Seriously? It never happened wow. though. She never. That called, would be never really called, interesting. She never, never called me back. So. Classical with pop, kind of urban. There we go. Interesting mix. <laughs> go. So your latest single, Royalty, is kind of different to everything else that you've done so far, I think. It's got like that kind of throwback, yes. Rat Pack sound. Yes. Is is that the kind of direction you're going for? Like trying to experiment nothing, with music? Nothing, nothing gives away anything really of my album. It's all so varied, so different. Like. If you listen to one song, you, uh, like I, I, I say definitely don't think, oh, so the album's gonna sound like this, and then a new song, oh, so it's gonna sound like this. Like it's all very different. It's all kind of a mixture. I just wanted to do. Uh, every time I'm in the studio, I just, I just want to record exactly what I feel like recording. So that's what I normally do. So. So what can fans expect from the album? So when can they expect it? When can they expect it? They can expect it as soon as I finished finished it. Um, yeah, I'm basically working on it still at the moment. Um, as soon as the fans are ready, you know, I need to know the fans are ready. I want them to let me know they are ready. Yeah. Um, and I need them in there in a, in a big scale to let me know they're ready for it. And when they do that, I'll drop it. I'm sure they're ready. I think they're ready right now, Connor. I'm sure they Get are. Get writing. My mum <laughs> brings me every day, like, when are you releasing it? I have to keep telling people you're not my son anymore because this is getting embarrassing. <laughs> Just release your album. So, yeah. And your first album did incredibly well, obviously. Yes. Do you feel pressure now with the second one? Or are you, is there's it easier? Always, there's always pressure. It's always quite scary because, you know, you can't just rely on, oh, yeah, my first album did really well. I get to, you know, release the second album now. You've always got to, because it takes time. It takes time to record a second album. And, you know, fans are fickle. They move between different artists. And when something new out there, something is new out, they jump onto that. So you've got to kind of, you've definitely got to win people back. You've got to, it's never easy with another album. So, yeah. And you've collaborated with a lot of people over the years um, already. Who, is there anyone we can expect on the album? Um, anyone can expect on the album? Well, I obviously worked with Craig David. Uh, Labyrinth did royalty. Um, I also did a track with some um, input from Timberland, which wow. is really, really That's cool. That's amazing. So How did we'll that see. come about with Timberland? Um, basically, uh, we, we know a lot of the same people that work on, on tracks, and we, he basically did a track, and the guy went, oh, Connie, you should cut this, so I recorded it, and I never got to meet him, though. Oh, that's... It could have been catfished. It could have been like some guy <laughs> called Tim Burland, like from up north. So, oh well. <laughs> Tim Burland. Yeah, from up north. But, so... Uh, yeah. Oh well. And you're back on stage now, you're doing the whole festival scene this year. Yes. Uh, can we expect a tour around the UK? Definitely, I think that'll come after the album though. Tour will be after the album, so um, my fans need to let me know. Let me know when you want to do it, and I'll go. So basically, he just needs the fans to let, him, <laughs> just tell him you know, when, tell is, when you are want. you ready. I'll give it to you guys. Great, so, thanks yeah. very much, Connor Maynard. It's cool. been lovely no talking worries. to Thank you. you